Welcome, friend, to Edgar Allan Poe's murder mystery invite-only casual dinner party slash gala for friends potluck. Guys, this is Krishanti. Edgar, I'm terribly frightened. No, no, don't be. It's merely the ghosts of those murdered in the house over the last hour return to tell us which one of us is the murderer. I'm not a ghost! Oh. Wait, who is this? Beware. The killer is here, in the house. You! It's that hippie witch. She's dead. Everyone, look around for clues. Oh, a weapon, anything. I'm taking a page out of your book, Ernie. Careful, you won't have many pages left. Hey. Oh, all right, we'll work on that. Where's Emily? Who? Emily Dickinson. Who? Is that a cat? Do you have a cat? She just. She was just in the room with us. Oh, is this it? <gasps> oh, Emily! Oh. Yeah, that's a different Emily. I'll fetch her things. I'll come with you. <sighs> we'll follow forthwith. My, we are becoming adept at this murder game, are we not? Yes, indeed, Miss Bronte. Yes, indeed. Edgar, you don't even have a phone number. Yes, I do. It's five, five, five. That's not enough that numbers is, for a phone number. How many number. numbers are in your phone number? Seven. Not a number with have all five. <laughs> <laughs> She's dead. Uh, again. Did you see anything? <gasps> oh, crushed by the feather of loneliness. <laughs> Emily! Well, we leave for one second and a dead person gets re-murdered? Okay, we all left the study. Any one of us could have killed Miss Krishanti or Miss Dickinson. If I had to guess, Emily witnessed Krishanti's murder when she came to accompany her. Yeah, but who here had the motive to kill the Jingle Jangle Witch? Lenore! You have weird ghost powers, and she could never bring back your boyfriend. That's balderdash! I am the one who suggested seancing! Seancing's not a word. Seancing isn't a word! I suppose I had motive, because Krishanti is responsible for bringing Lenore back to life and foisting her upon me. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yes, no joking around. Whatevs, Grim Reaper, you die of loneliness without me anyway. Yes. Oscar, what is it you just said about loneliness? <laughs> Guys, I just said that Emily was crushed by the feather of loneliness. Oh. <laughs> that actually was quite amusing. <laughs> you do hit them on the head occasionally, chap. <laughs> I do. Emily was crushed as if by loneliness. Mm -hmm. I have an idea. To the washroom. The frame. Let's all turn it around. I'll get it. Oscar? Edgar? This isn't mine. Sure. Listen, we are being dispatched in ways that are relevant to our artistic output. Think about it. Miss Alcott with the Scarlet Fever, Miss Shelley with the Electricity, Dostoevsky with the Axe, Miss Christie with the Indian Blade. Oh yeah, and George Eliot was killed by a portrait of Oscar Wilde, just like that famous poem she wrote. <sighs> I think the killer intended to kill Oscar, but somehow things got mixed up. Oscar did suggest George go into the bathroom first. She was covered in birdie bits. Uh, I was being a gentleman. Also, that picture is wrong. Look, my nose, my face, my back, it's all off. Mm -mm. No, no, we mustn't jump to conclusions. It is possible that Oscar is the murderer, <gasps> but it's also possible that he was the intended victim. Mm. And the killer messed up. Either way, Oscar must be protected and isolated.
standing around silently and staring. Sounds like another Friday night at Edgar Allan Poe's house. If I may, uh, I, I fear I may be of more use to the cause if I could continue my work around the house. I assure you, I am working on a system that will help us solve this mystery. Oh, is he? Well, there are a lot of wires, so I'd say that's promising. What if he's the murderer? I'll go with him again. But what if he murders you? I am already dead. Fine, Lenore, H, G, H, G, please, hurry. We are running out of time. Well, are we? We are, right? We are running yeah, I mean, out of time. I see where you're coming. Right. Yes, 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 we are running out of time. Look, I just can't stand here for the rest of the night, okay? You sound like you're itching to murder more people. Are we expecting anyone else? Not that I'm aware of. Let's just leave it. Agreed. Pretend we're not home. Well, the lights are on. Stay here. I'll take care of this. You guys, we're doing a hell of a job of staying in one place together. You guys are my favorite ones anyways. Oh, my god, no. We are nearly finished. I don't get it. How do we see what's going on? We can't be behind every camera at once. My dear Lenore, you have hit on the final piece of the puzzle. I have brought you here to construct our final invention. I shall call it an electronic video display signal interpretation terminal. For short, of course. Of course. Oh, good evening. Are you Mr. Allen Poe? Yes. 